We're back, everybody. In black. Mm -hmm, maybe. Let's check out this list. Well, not much has changed. Uh, I've included another Raska's Contempt and a Ritual of Soot. I put the Frex and Scriptures in the sideboard. But what is this deck about? It's about artifacts and discard, essentially. We have Heartless Pillage, which creates a treasure. You can use the treasure map to uh, use up that treasure. You can also use it for Phylactor Lich to have a counter to put on something. The Lich is also so perfect with the map since since it when it flips you have the uh, counter on a land which is very good because it's hard to kill lands. We have Citadel Sword of Valor which is an artifact and it also synergizes with having small creatures which you can put it on and attack. Karn's Sign of Ursa, perfect with artifacts. Uh, synergizes well with treasure map and you can create huge colorless tree, uh, creature tokens with this is what I'm trying to say. We have Pilbering Imp, Burglarat, Heartless Pillage as our discard. We have Dusk Legion Salad for a little bit of extra card draw and having an extra creature to put the sword on. Single Duress, for some reason it has worked out fine, that's why it's in there. We have Cast Down and Walk the Plank as removal along with two Raskas Contempt and a Ritual of Soot and Cry of the Cornarium to deal with the small creatures. We don't really care if these get exiled because they, when they've come into play, they've already done their part, so we don't really care. And it doesn't kill our Lich also. Yes, that's the list. Let's jump into the games. Walk the plank, cry of the carnarium, heartless pillage, ritual of soot. Okay, so it's very removal heavy. Very, very removal heavy. But if we're up against a creature deck, which most decks are, so, uh, I mean, we should be fine, right? Should be fine. Should be fine. It's going fine. Dune Cat. Posing as a blue, blue mage. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Dimir. Well. Hand is not great against Dimir. I guess we could go Heartless Pillage, Heartless Pillage. <laughs> if he's sort of discarding our shit. That's his plan. Could discard him back. Have some discard wars. See how he likes that. But if it's uh, something else. Well, that was unexpected. More than a little unexpected. Well, I think I'm just gonna go for the pillage here. Just discard and then discard and then discard. I think that should be good. Mm. We're not getting the treasure here. Uh, so maybe next turn we go burglar at. We'll see. We'll see if he goes for a creature or something next turn. I still haven't got enough information to really know what this guy is playing. Gateway Plaza. So, it doesn't really look like a gate deck to me. Uh, because he has Drowned Catacomb. And you don't want Drowned Catacomb in a gate deck most probably. Because you're not never going to have an island. You're never going to have a swamp. So that's not going to work out for you. And the Gateway Plaza. Okay. Well here we've got some clues. Seems to be some kind of control build. Since he's running Seal Away and Dovin. Dovin! That's a weird card to have, I think. Uh, could be the... Uh, whoop, okay. Doesn't like our pillage. Is he even playing creatures? That's the question. I think this hand is very bad if you're not... You're not up against a creature heavy deck. When this hand does literally nothing. <laughs> but June Cat though. Oh, he seems to be very controlling. Both Teferi and Dovin. Thought the ratio seal well. This this can be tough with this kind of what? This guy's full of surprises. Well, we drew all the removal in the deck, so uh, I guess we'll have to beat him down with the burglar. He seems to be stuck on two lands, so doesn't seem to be working out for him really. Well, we seem to be stuck on all the removal, so... Okay, Pilfering Imp, that's decent. Mm. Attack in here. Now we have some way of getting rid of... ...all that nonsense that's accumulating in his hand. Hope he runs creatures! <laughs> I really do, because else... ...his hand is really shit if he doesn't run creatures. Okay, well... ...in that case, I guess we attack in. Skabish, skaboosh, and uh, discard some more. Pay one, okay. <laughs> Happy I had that extra mana because I did not think about the amulet of say. Ooh, spell pierce. Ooh. 
Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Weird hand. <laughs> Weird hand we drew into. Well, I guess we gotta check out his hand. Now that he drew a land, he might have something. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Resolve. Pay the mana. Oh, this guy's. Guy's addendoming. Draw two cards. Gain life. Nothing here that I really care about. Really. Uh, I guess the lantern, because that gives him mana. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, does it matter if I take one of his Sphinx's insights when he's like hoarding them in his hand? Probably not. Hmm. This is a weird deck. What has what have this guy been up to against since he runs Amulet of Safekeeping in the main? What is he so afraid of? Like, <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, a one two. It's bigger than we are. I guess I were one one. So uh, let's draw land, shall we? Why not? Treasure map or lich? Yeah. Gives him something to think about. Oh, the Lich. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> if you have settled wreckage, why not give me the Lich? Guess we're gonna get our treasure back. Treasure map next turn, though. Yeah. Gains his life. That is fine. Um, okay. Uh, no blocks. Let's see. Yeah, let's get that treasure map back, shall we? Play it out. Look at the top. Mm, do we want another swamp? Probably not. Let's see. Yeah, let's put out the lich. Why not? The counter there. Um, yeah, we can block with the lich, so. Back in. That is fine. I wonder if he plays any creatures. How does he win? Does he win with Dovin? Okay. <laughs> well done. I guess you will be discarding here, sir. <laughs> this deck is... This deck has all the weirdness in it. Not exactly sure what this guy is up to. Not exactly sure. Amulet of Safekeeping is uh, interesting. I wonder why he keeps it in his deck. Like, w what is he afraid of? Is he afraid of tokens? Is, is he really afraid that someone's gonna, I don't know, discard something from his hand? I'm, I, I'm, admittedly, I've been paying that cost a lot, so maybe you could argue that it has worked out for him, but <laughs> I don't know. N Little bit. I think that this really belongs in a sideboard and not in the main deck. Anywho, let's play out the corn here. Because why not? And should we start creating our army? I don't know. It seems to be on the uh, bounce our stuff plan. So maybe I should just look for more stuff. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll be getting the imp here. I don't think he wants us to duress him. Hmm. Do we walk the plank, the surveyor? No. <laughs> Let's just play this out. Put the stop at our upkeep so we can do something. Okay, he doesn't have any mana open to cause settle at least, so. Let's go in for an attack. Blocking with the surveyor. I think these, <laughs> these cards right here, these four cards will not have a single use in this game. Quite likely. Our opponent, with all this Sphinx's insight. Hmm. I guess against Mono Red, it becomes a little bit harder to go face for them. Yeah, it's gonna steal our Raskas here. 99% sure. Raskas going away. He has Planeswalker, so... I mean, there's no reason to take anything else, yeah. It took him a while. <laughs> Maybe wrote the cards down. You know, back in the days, you used to do that before. Now it shows you all the cards when you've seen them once, but uh, 
In real magic. In paper magic. You write things down. Let's draw. And let's go into our main phase. And let's see. Should we start creating the token army now? Uh, let's check out his hand first. And make a decision after that. Yeah, we can. Resolve. Pay one. Okay. Thief. Okay, so he has creatures. What is this deck? What is this deck? Okay. Well. Counter non-creature spell. Uh, Playcrafter doesn't do anything. Where does where does settle go? Okay. Okay. Well. I don't know. I'm not afraid of any of these cards. I guess Nessa Hall because that will draw him a card. <laughs> When he plays it, kind of. Uh, okay, with that hand, I think I'm safe. Just going for, going for douchebags. Oh, <laughs> came in handy against us. Here I am bashing that card. It's amazing against us. <laughs> what is this deck? Playcrafter, thief of sanity. Flower. It's like a madman who created a deck. What is even the funny part is that like initially it looked like a control deck. And now it looks like I don't know, some kind of ramp. Yeah, sure, resolve. Sacrifice. Uh, I'll sacrifice my burger at. That was a waste of mana for you, okay. Sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do this. Don't need another swamp here. Uh, let's see here. We'll draw a card. Draw the Pilfering Imp. Go to our main phase. Hmm. We know exactly what is in his hand, so there's no real reason to do anything but attack here. Oh, well, there is. I <laughs> could have created a token too. Um, get some more damage on the board. Let's do that. Um, um, don't want to do anything else. Maybe put down an imp. Unless it, in case it draws into some kind of removal that could stop us from winning. But man, this deck is weird. I mean, when we get to sideboarding against this deck, what, <laughs> what are we even gonna do? Okay, so we've won now. There's nothing that can stop us. How do you sideboard against this deck? Honestly, what are you gonna bring in? I don't even know what this is. This is just random cards. How do you sideboard against... Maybe that's his strategy. Like, he changes his deck into whatever he needs to after side... I'm not... I don't know. Okay. Three Swamps, Cry of the Carnarium, Phylactor Lich, Raskas, Raskas. It's not ideal, but I, get, I, mean, I can't even guess what his hand is gonna be. Is it gonna be Nessa Hall and Thief of Sanity? I mean, it's decent against that, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep. That's three lands. That's fine. Yeah. Let's hope with the planes this time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. See a new. Is this a new deck? Last time it was blue black, right? Now he has all the basics. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, I don't have anything to <laughs> put the lich counter on, so I'm gonna keep. If it goes for a planeswalker, we could kill it at least. That's something. Primal amulet? What? He had all these creatures. Did he board out all the creatures? Is that what he did? Well, we keep drawing lands, I guess. <laughs> And no artifacts. Well, that happens. <laughs> At least we'll get to see maybe what his deck does. Nope. He's not willing to show us yet. This card something. Mm. Counter spell? No. <laughs> what is this? I mean... The only... <sighs> you didn't see many. Yeah, we saw spell pairs last time. What did we see? We saw Settle the Wreckage, so that's in there. The Sphinx's Addendum or whatever it's called. S Snowborn Sentry? 
Really? <laughs> okay. I never expected to see Snubhorn and Nessa Hall in the same deck. That's uh, that's for sure. Do I kill that? Does he even have a way to get a send <laughs> somehow in his deck? I don't know. Guess I guess I kill it because I have so much removal here. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it has a plan with this. Maybe, really. I mean, I'm happy if it counters this because <laughs> I don't feel like killing it anyways. It's just I feel like I gotta do something. I don't even know what he's doing here. He's just playing random stuff. I gotta interact with him, right? I gotta do something. I can't just sit there and do absolutely nothing. Okay. Yeah, you got all the manas. Still not playing anything, right? Okay. Well. Well, well then. Stop the seven lands. <laughs> seven lands, a third of our lands. Hmm. That's great. Ah, there's. Uh, yeah, still not drawing any artifacts, funnily enough. Will it be attacking in? <laughs> Will be a slow death. Death by rat is. <laughs> it's a slow death. Tell you that. Rat is a slow and sinuous killer. <laughs> Gateway Plaza, this guy. I mean, he's the master of surprises, I'll, I'll tell you that much. There's no telling what he's gonna play next. It's gonna be Nessa Hall or Snubhorn Sentry, like who knows? Okay. That's not really amazing time to play a Playcrafter, but sure, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so interested in knowing what he sideboarded in, like, <laughs> what did he sideboard in, what did he sideboard out, like, there's no telling what this deck is, spell pierce, well, uh, resolve, pay two, okay. Also, an interesting time to spell, play Spellbreak just to get a counter there, maybe? Doesn't really do much. And going for the attacks. <sighs> what, is, what is this deck? Mm -hmm. This is planned to Primal Amulet a lot of Sphinx's insights. To draw lots of cards. To play Snubhorn Sentry? <laughs> did he sideboard in Snubhorn Sentry? Maybe he did. Maybe it's like, this guy has all the <laughs> one ones in the world. I need Snubhorn Sentry. He can block them. <laughs> it's just amazing against him. <sighs> I guess that uh, <laughs> that's how the thought process went. Man, if I could pay an amount of money to see <laughs> what he sideboarded. To see that sideboarding process taking place, I would... Oof. I'd pay a lot. <laughs> I mean, what did he even do? Okay. Yep, we're attacking in there. <sighs> See if he has something in his hand. Settle the wreckage. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Resolve. Take action. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, I guess we'll go for the Lich then. And sure, equip the sword also. Why not? Okay, now we can uh, probably chain his addendums. That's pretty good. I mean, I might lose here because <laughs> I have no idea. How, I don't even know how this guy wins. Maybe it's something that's so brilliant I can't even see it. I can't even fathom. <laughs> what it could be. It's so next level, I can just be amazed. That's interesting that I had a, that's a good card against the Lich, I guess. Well, I will do another Lich. That's good at least. <laughs> you actually had 
Consecrate, consume, and essence scatter. This is uh, an interesting guy. <laughs> what can I say? Oh well, now we've got almost all the planes, or all the planes, all the swamps in our deck. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll pass. Got mostly removal here. <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit worried about this uh, Primal Wellspring. You might just run away with the game with it. Now the essence scatter, no? Okay, quit. And pass turn. Divine Visitation, okay. Well, that's worrying. Well, I haven't seen anything that creates tokens, though, so... There can't be many cards which do that. Because we've seen none of them so far. Uh, well... We will actually maybe draw all the swamps in our deck. We have 13, we have 22 in total, so soon we'll have all the swamps. <laughs> in play. Ugh. Guys, yeah, fingering our tokens here, what is it? Okay, so he's not using Primal Wellspring to actually double something. Is, that, is this guy a genius, a wizard, or is he just... Does he just have no idea? Like a bot. <laughs> like a bot learning how to play magic. Like deep, Google DeepMind. Figuring out magic. <laughs> Codename DuneCat. <laughs> That's what it feels like right now, honestly. Well, if that is a uh, settle wreckage, I'd rather do this first. <laughs> or the spell. Not super interested in the treasure anyway. I have so much mana. More mana than I could ever need in this deck. Okay. Oh, we used it. Well, used it in the correct way, even. That's good. So we'll be drawing four cards. Yep. And now he has no mana to do anything. Unwind. Okay. Oh, that's why he has unwind in his deck. Because now we can untap the wellspring. The tech. The tech in this guy. Wow. I'm impressed. This guy has a thought about everything. Okay, now this makes sense at least. Plague Crafter, okay. Not super good right here. What does he have to trigger trigger this <laughs> though? The Divine Visitation seems very random. Does he even have a card which it works with? I've seen none of them. I mean in two games, I should have seen it at least once, right? Well, I'll just go for it here. Maybe I should have saved a token, I don't know. Okay, sure. <laughs> Take action. Well, we won't have any swamps left. <laughs> yeah. We have all the swamps. All the swamps. So, 16. So we can't draw them anymore. <laughs> Feasibly. Uh, yeah, sure. Put down a treasure map. Yeah, of course. Of course he runs both negate <laughs> and a wind. Yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> it's just too weird. Dune cat. Or genius. Or genius bot. Genius bot. Double thought ratio. Well, I guess we'll lose two rascals then. <laughs> yep. Oh. This guy is just looking for value with his primal wellspring. Doesn't even really have a combo. I've never, I mean, not even seen a way that he can really kill us with this deck so far. I mean, Snubhorn is gonna take a while <laughs> to beat us down. Okay, so I have yet another counter. Does he? I mean, how many could he possibly have? I mean, <laughs> okay, thank you. Well. Finally. <laughs> Finally something. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's equip also. We have the manas. 
Past turn. History of Benalia? Okay. Well, decent for him, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Um, hmm. The annoying thing is that that thing can kill our um, kill our Karn. Though if we put it down a pilfering imp, can't anymore. Guess we do this, right? Put out another. Then go for an attack. Kind of has to block here, so. We're getting some damage in. Yep. Uh, yeah, drop the imp. And equip this on uh, the 2-2. Two -two. Seems fine. Sure. And pass turn. Well, I mean, he he's upgrading them with Divine Restation, but is this, is this really the only card? It seems like it, which works as... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know what to say. Let's first check out his hand. What does he have? Spell Pierce Evolving Wilds. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess the Spell Pierce. Okay. Wants to challenge us <laughs> for <laughs> the title of Scrub Lord. Okay. Treasure Map, a Source Gateway, Double Swamp, and Double Phylactery Lich. Yeah, this, this is a good hand. Good, good hand. We just need another swamp. Have I said that before? <laughs> Okay, play the swamp. So, treasure map first or a source first? I think treasure map always first. This is just more late game thing. Thing runes. Oh, do we kill that? No, I don't think we do. Put a stop here. Ensure we draw a land. I think that's more important. If we draw a land, we can try to. Wait, it's not a Murfolk, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wizard. It's a wizard, but it's not a Murfolk. Let's check out top card, see if we draw into a land or not. Want to ensure that land... No, I think Sword is awesome, but not, not right now. We need a land. No land. Really? Well... Well then. Let's put another stop, I guess. <laughs> well, that's sad. Against Mono Blue. Mono Blue without lands. That will be difficult. Well, at least it's not playing anything, so... That's good, at least. Okay, Tempest Gin. That we may have to kill. But we need to draw the land, so... Yeah, I'll gamble here. Gamble for land. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what we needed. Else we would have been dead there, I think. Main. And walk the plank on the Gin. Luckily, the Gin is not a Merfolk. That's good, at least. <laughs> That's something. Uh, we put a stop here. No, we don't need to. Next turn we're gonna play Lich and hope to draw a swamp, but if we don't, that will be fine also. Storm Tamer coming in. Yep, big damage. He is sure to have counters though, but we have three Liches, so I mean... Uh, maybe we should uh, start off with... No, no, no. Let's start with Lich. We have three of them. I mean, if we can get a Phylactery counter on a treasure map here, that would be very good. So, he's gonna have to waste all his counter. Nope. Nope. Did not have. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Next turn, we're gonna derp around with the map, I guess. Okay. Flip the map. Yep. Taking three. Uh, here. Fill with the map. Hopefully find another swamp. Nope, that's not a swamp. And then we draw. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
What to do here? What to do here? Do we just go for a burglar at to block the trickster and then attack him with a lich? That seems fine. Or do we go for another lich? I mean, I could go for another lich here. Yeah, I think. Tr try to do that, actually. I go for another lich. Trying to overwhelm him <laughs> with liches. Because now I have a counter here, right? So, okay, and that's fine. That's something he's not countering at another point in time. Do go for an attack here. Okay. Ah, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um... Do I, do I put down a burglar at just to block here? I could. Which also loses. Yeah, I think I do here. I actually think I do. Loses a card from his hand, which is probably something we, that we need to get rid of anyways. Probably a counter or something. And it blocks a little bit of damage. And we need the, the tempo more than the mana, I think. Or the draws here. We have all the cards that we need in hand, really. Okay. Hmm. Well, he's killing us very slowly in the air here, so I think we're gonna go do this. A source gateway. Hopefully he doesn't have one more counter spell. I could play out the imp just to ensure that. I think I'll rather go for the Lich. Hopefully, he doesn't have it. Okay, perfect. Hmm. Yeah, we need to put pressure on him. And we have bigger creatures, so... That should be fine, hopefully. What's his last card, though? That's a scoop! That's a win! So, for sideboarding against this guy, well, I guess Cry the Carnarium is pretty good against him, so I'm not gonna take that out. Raska's Contempt, though, seems a bit expensive. Rather have two Duresses here, probably. Uh, anything else that we don't want? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Plaguemare seems pretty decent against him. Maybe I should play that instead of the Ritual of Soot. But, ah, this can kill everything in his deck. So, probably better. Um, hmm. No, oh, I think this is fine. This should be good. Pilfering Imp, Dusk Legion, Salad, Heartless Pillage, Karn, Sign of Ursa. Yeah, this is a fine hand. Don't have much removal. And that's bad. But we have three lands and we have perfect curve curvature here. So, I guess we'll go. Go for a keeps. Miss Cloak Herald. Herald. I know. Does he have the uh, curious obsession? Does he? Yeah, he did. Well, that's good for him. It will give him quite the advantage, <laughs> I think. Mm, yeah, let's try and draw some. Back in. Skaboosh. Next turn we could go for the Heartless Pillage. Get rid of some cards, maybe. Yep, we'll be taking that damage. He will be st <laughs> stacking up on counter spells, most likely. Um, let's attack in with the Dusk Legion Salad only, because I want to save this in case he has a Merfolk Trickster or something. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go through a lot of counters, I think, <laughs> before we get to uh, the actual cards in his hand. Well, we'll have to continue this way. When Mono Blue draws perfectly, it's almost impossible to beat them because they will have too many counter spells for you to get through, no matter what your hand is. But if they don't, if they hit a land pocket, for instance, if they don't draw perfectly, if they don't get enough counters or something, then you, of course, you can get through, I think. 
Uh, I guess let's sacrifice this and play the Burglarette. And let's see what he has. Okay, a lot of dive downs. Uh, we don't care really about the dive downs. Wizard's Retort is the best one. Can't deal with the Jin either, so maybe I should take the Jin. Yeah, I'll take the Jin. Because we don't have anything in hand which deals with it, so. And it's impossible to kill it while once it gets down with all these dive downs. It's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure, attack in. Deal your one damage, bruh. Maybe I should take out the Karns against him. Just have even more removal. <laughs> Just only removal. Removal and discard, everything. Maybe that's what I should do. Because now it seems very, very, very unlikely that we have any chance in this game. Wizard's Retort. Marvel Trickster. Yeah, let's go for the corn then. And let's get Wizards Retorted. Spell Pierce. Okay. Well, I guess the next card will be Wizards Retorted then. <laughs> yeah, this is almost impossible to get through. I think we can concede this, honestly. Go into game 3 instead. That's more interesting, I think. Had a good opener, and we could not deal with it. I think we bring in all the discard, and I mean all the discard. And we bring in the Plague Mares. Yeah, and then we take out the Karns. Maybe we take out the Liches, even. Maybe. Uh, and what more do we take out? How many cards do we have in our deck? 65. So I guess we take out the Dusk Legion Salads. Take out the Acer Gateway, that's too slow. Uh, we take out the treasure map, one treasure map. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Now we have a pretty slick curve. <laughs> Just all the discard in the world. And killing low stuff creatures, low mana creatures. Don't have too many ways to kill him, we have the sword. Yeah, let's see how this does. <laughs> Interesting sideboard, I know. <laughs> How will this work? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play first. Uh, well... Well, I guess I'll keep. And we'll just kill everything he plays, I guess. Doesn't play anything. Well, that makes it easy. Drop the map. More spell pierce. Yep. Seems to be running four of those. Quite likely. Siren Storm Tamer. That is fine. Does. Ah. Let's go for this. All these swamps, though. All these swamps. Very, very flooded. Very flooded. I think our blue mage might be in a... Okay, he didn't have the counter though. That's good. Got rid of a trickster. That's an opt. Hopefully he'll play a djinn without the Siren Storm Tamer mana backup. That would be good. Well, lots of ways to de <laughs> deal with these though. Okay. Well. Luckily, we had the walk the plank at least to deal with it since it didn't have the manas. Okay, but all these lands. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me with these lands? I mean, we have all the ways in the world to deal with this guy. We just stop drawing only lands. Please, come on. Like a plague mirror here, and we are fine. Okay, no, no plague mirror. Put this down. Check the top card. Heartless pillage. No, I don't think we can go for that now. He'll probably dump his hand next turn anyway. Put a stop here. Wow, all these lands, huh? In a 22 land deck. 
Well, that's what happens sometimes. Okay, top card. Please be something useful. I mean, that is useful, but we need a board clear here. Uh, draw a card. <laughs> Kidding me? How? How can I draw so many swamps? I mean, I have four Plague Mares and four uh, Cry of the Carnarium. Can I just find one of those, please? And not only swamps? <laughs> this is silly. I'll probably draw all the swamps in the deck. What? What? Did, didn't have a... I didn't have a stop there. Okay. <laughs> this is... Oh, finally. Finally. Are you kidding me? Oh, well. Put this out. Is it countering this? Wizard's Retort? No. No, no, no. Well, I'll be taking damage here. Yeah, that's fine. Keep piling them up. <laughs> I got good news for you. Okay. Anything else? Attack, most probably, with everything. Yeah, no blocks. We are we're down low. Down low. Okay. Let's draw. Yes. Let's move into our main phase. Let's remove the last counter in his hand, hopefully. Dive down. Pteromander, okay. That's a tricksy and smart play of him. Oh well, he can... Ooh, he can transform it. Okay, so I guess I need to find some way to kill that then. Let's try and draw. This is pretty good. It's not enough. Hmm. Yeah, we can bring this down a little bit lower, but he can transform it. That's the problem. One, two... Oh, maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can win next turn. Darn it! <laughs> Darn it! Maybe he doesn't see it. Maybe he plays something from his hand or something. Maybe he screws this up. No. No, that was just... We had all the answers to his deck. All the answers. <laughs> and only drew swamps. Well then.